In this lesson, we discuss global library functions. Here we have a file, CLSVOL1, that contains our global library function. The first page in our global library function file is the document page. Here we list how many functions and programs are in the file, what date they were created, a copyright notice, and a brief description of the function. The function that we're going to deal with is the distance on the real number line between two points A and B. You can see from its definition in math that it's equal to the absolute value of B minus A. To add this to our calculator, we are going to go to Menu, Actions, Library, and then Define Library Pub Show in Catalog. Since we already have it in our library, we will just escape out of this and take a look at this. What we want to do is we want to save this particular file, this particular library function to this file inside of the library file folder, my live. Then once we have saved it, what we will want to do is use this. To use this particular function that we have saved, we will want to call it up from the catalog. But what has to happen is the library has to be refreshed for this to happen. So to show you an example of this, we will go to the scratch pad for a calculator. And then we will ref refresh the library by using document and option number six, refresh library. Once we have the library refreshed, we will call this one up and then use it. To call it up and use the one, we can type the information in with the path to it and type in the parameters and get the answer. But the easier way to do this is to use the catalog function to bring it up. Over here on our calculator, we will hit catalog. Now it's here, it's shown as tab six because this is a T Inspire CXCAS. On the straight numeric T Inspire CX, it is tab five. We will then use our arrows to open this up. Again, this is shown after we have finished creating the um, programs and functions for the first chapter. So we will want to go down till we hit our distance for the real number line function. Then once we have it highlighted, we will want to enter it. At this point, we will want to put in the parameters. Again, the parameters that we were using are minus two and four. Separated by a comma. And then press enter and comes up with our answer to be the distance between minus two and four is six.